My name is KP. Um, what, what? Oh, I'm from Richfield, Minnesota. Yep. This is my first time at the Community Greens cook-off, um, but I've been to Pilgrim multiple times in different community events in Rondo, so, yeah. Well, what comes to mind would probably be just my experience in the gardens. So I did a summer with Melvin and Megan in the Urban Farm and Garden Alliance. So I just think of the many days spent in the grow? gardens. I grew, gosh, so many things. There are about five different gardens that I was spending time in. And so, but my kind of plot, my little plot was sweet potatoes and lots of like little there's sun I think sun drop tomatoes and beans and a lot of collard greens and kale and so kind of all of it but I mean obviously there's a lot more <laughs> but there was a lot um, at the, the plots I was at well I'm pretty disconnected from my cultural um, roots in terms of even like connection to food, that's something I didn't grow up having. I mean, obviously I had food that was specific to my family, but not necessarily deeply rooted in my Scandinavian culture. Um, so I kind of lost connection with that, but this summer kind of opened an eye, my eyes to just the way that healthy food can create healthy communities and just what that provides beyond just the, the nutritious part of food but just the platform of food and getting to grow it and be a part of that process and then having it be culturally specific and just the significance of that like obviously tonight um, seeing the way people throw downs for their greens and getting to grow a lot of that this summer and then um, eat some of it prepared by community members and that was really cool for me to see kind of the significance of that so yeah sorry one more time right now um, I'm living at school and so we have access to food prepared by our kind of mass food preparing system Sodexo. Um, but there are not gardens to access. Um, I have one in my little backyard area, but um, not, not necessarily accessible from like a, a growing standpoint, but from the stores I live in, an area where I have access to stores readily and so uh, like kale and things like that which are kind of my favorite to grow as well as eat are pretty accessible but in a plastic bag not from the ground so and that's a difference yeah it's a big difference so my parents go usually to Costco but my dad also has a big garden in our backyard, so it's another area where we get food, but not in the winter, obviously. So, yeah. Um, in Richfield specifically, a lot of the individuals get their food from like Cub and Rainbow um, and there is produce accessible um, but Richfield has become continuously more diverse and I would say that there's not as many like culturally specific foods for new um, immigrants and refugees that have now become a part of the community and so I have not seen an increase in like a diversity of food um, that's accessible. I think just what I've thought about and heard 
uttered multiple times is just like the power of growing food and growing your own food and I think that I would love to see in my own community like more I mean there isn't a community garden that I know of and what it what it looks like to have kind of conversations about sustainability and also getting people more excited about growing their own food and I don't I never had a program like that in my school growing up or anything like that so I'd love to see that started from a kind of more basic level so awesome yes thank you